to my channel Aditi kehte hain and here we bridge knowledge to success and in this episode we are going to talk about how the combination of faith and the burning desire made impossible possible so well in this episode we are going to discuss about story of a child named Blair and his father Napoleon Hill and well as everybody knows Napoleon Hill is the famous author, author of Think and Grow Rich and he has like he written a story of his personal experience how he put the burning desire like to uh, like to practice and put faith inside the child Blair and Blair actually was deaf and when the when the combination of burning desire and faith acted upon him he was introduced to the world of sound and he was he was and doctors and many people researched on it and they said this is really a miracle so well stay tuned to the end because i'm going to share a lot of things which are going to arouse your inquisitiveness and well there's going to be a lot of fun facts and there is going to be a lot of learning from this episode so stay tuned till then ciao for now bye bye hello my friends as i said in this episode we are going to talk about how the faith and the burning desire made impossible possible so the first story is about mr napoleon hill the author of think and grow rich from which uh, i derived the story and uh, and his son it is his personal experience which he wrote uh, about and i found it very interesting so i thought why not share it with my viewers and uh, i i think you are going to be amazed about what napoleon hill did with his children so see one time napoleon hill was like so like when his children was a uh, child was born blair and uh, he was born deaf and had like there there was no space for the the skull, the skull was actually full and there was no space for the ocular uh, the nerves auditory nerves to pass and there was the, so so like hearing was impossible for this kid like all the doctors and who they were they felt pity for the like the parents and the child because he he, he had a hearing impairment so but the parents did not give up when uh, the when the child was like the age of the when a boy start speaking in english like uh, i started speaking at 7 so like from so five uh, four uh, like four or five years so like when he reached that age he began to hear slight voices man meaning that he could identify slight voices voices so this encouraged the parents highly and then napoleon hill set out to his work he thought that the, he could like ignite the burning desire with within within blair and he could arouse that faith inside him so that he would like fight his way out of that impairment so the, he what he what he like so he had this plan but he was not sure how to do it and well what happened once uh, like napoleon hill and his wife bought a victrola which was a uh, like which was a like a radio or a sound machine at that time it like it like played various songs so what happened when they bought the victrola and they just kept it and they went and they when they came and they saw something like something uh, cur- like something cur- they were curious about what was happening the boy had clamped his teeth into the victrola and was hearing melodies how could how could he hear the melodies well there is some bone conduction principle which allows sound to go through bone so like we know the teeth is a bone right so like he did he clamped it and then he was hearing songs and he like he was listening for one or two hours and he was like really into the rhythm and he was like dancing and all that well so that gave like they the parents were very happy to see that and 
and then after after that he started to listen a little bit and as i said because of the bone uh, because of the bone conduction thing the whenever napoleon hill like touched her and spoke to him he could hear everything so it was very like it was a very curious sight when you look at it but it has deep meaning so at night mr napoleon hill would come and give him bedtime stories about how these impairments can be used to become successful and how many successful people had these impairments and he gave him courage and hope and also installed the dream in him that i have to be speaking like hearing things so he did that he he like he gave him a faith he gave him a very like very strong faith that yes he wants to learn how to hear and now that now for some parents it might be practically impossible but for not for napoleon hill he was such a positive guy and he had written so many books so he knew everything so he thought this could be done he was not 100% sure mind you so one day what happened he just tried to like test the burning desire inside that child and he just he just sold the idea to him that why not try to sell newspapers like uh, too many people and they would get, they, like he would have an uh, the uh, uh, the port uh, the blair would have more uh, advantage over his big brother because he had some impairments right so people would give him extra money so he thought yeah i can i can do that he asked his mother blair asked his mother mother but mother said no and said you are so you are deaf then how would how can you roam ar- ar- around these streets you cannot communicate with somebody so effi- efficiently as we do right so he could not do that so what he did he one day with like the, then he took the matter into his hand own his own hands so one day he was alone at his home with servants and what he did he actually he went like he escaped escaped out of the home and then went to the local shoemaker and took 5 cents from him he borrowed it and then he said i'll give you 6 cents at the end of the day so he was very smart at that time and then he invested that money into newspapers and then sold them he made some profit in reinvested made again more profit and this cycle continued like throughout the day and end of the day after giving the 6 cents to that person he had 42 cents in total so he was very like he was very he was very happy that he had made some money and then he like one thing got into him if my mother and father will not buy it for me i will buy it for myself <laughs> so he did and when if when their father and mother returned returned from their job and they saw they saw that he had been clutching the 42 cents in his hand and they saw oh and then uh, napoleon hill was laughing that he knew that this burning desire had triggered him to go down and do that so he had tested the burning desire successfully now how could this affect his hearing capabilities so he built faith in him in him he built the burning desire in him so what did like now he now what he did now he ha, now he passed all his exams and then he reached to ha, uh, high school and where he could like his hearing capabilities have be, have improved till that time and he could hear like when i would shout in front of me in uh, front of him he could hear it at a short range so his hearing capabilities were like better than they were at when he was in his childhood so he, and then that improved and when like these electronic hearing aid, aids we have right that electronic healing aids would not would, uh, would not have affected him at the time of when he was child but now they could have affected him because some miracle happened now i can uh, i do not know what miracle happened but when he used that electronical he, uh, like hearing aid he could hear uh, like hear everything perfectly all right and then he called his mother and he said hello mom how are you and then he could hear her response back so he was very surprised that how did this happen because in this child in his childhood this was not possible and when doctors examined his like skull and did some x ray they saw that there was no space for the ear to grow and then how could this happen 
this was really a miracle and how did have how it happened was because of the faith that napoleon hill build up build in him in him and the burning desire he had and if napoleon hill had not taken that step he would have been deaf for his whole life so now well, he was very happy with the electronic gadget he had and then he worked and then he like wrote to the company that had manufactured it uh, manufactured it and he wrote that it is a very great product he, like he he like told it so like it, he told it, he praised it so good that they called him to their factory and they said why not work for us and help other children like uh, be introduced to the sound uh, the, the world of sound so that he held so he held the same way napoleon hill had held, held him he installed the burning desire the faith of them hearing once again to the other children as well so he like he the problem he had he solved it and then helped many other children so we can know that something that are practically impossible can be possible if you have some faith and some uh, burning desire because the combo the c if burning desire is backed by faith nothing can op or like oppose you because opposition can like so uh, opposition can be more more down by the burning desire and faith can shall keep you energized for doing everything throughout your life so you should have faith in whatever you do you should have the burning desire and well i have done a i have done a video on that as well so please do that uh, i will mention the link a link in the description below so don't forget to see that and i hope you were inspired by the story i was so amazed when i read it i felt like how is this possible is this really happening and then because i just heard i just thought like my parents or i whenever i read the book they were they are just joking but when i really i really read the real story i was really impacted and i was i felt so deep i felt like something that you should we should have faith and so i thought why not keep my faith in my channel and now i will post many videos every day so well let's meet in the next episode shamanam bye bye